The Red Dirt D&D Podcast is brought to you by Pro Laser Cuts. The Oklahoma company provides pre-made and customizable design laser cut dice towers, tokens, and more developed by a gamer for gamers and now available to enhance your tabletop game. Pro Laser Cuts products can be found at many Oklahoma City area game stores, local events, and now available online at ProLaserCuts.com. That's laser and cuts with a Z, Pro Laser Cuts. And by SD Way Gaming, where dice goblins unite. Our friends at SD Way Gaming celebrate the beautiful dice players handpick for their games and splendor. SD Way Gaming has expanded to include many tabletop gaming varieties, accessories, and similar fun necessities to include a service for your dice addiction. You can shop for a variety of products at sdwaygaming.com or find SD Way Gaming on Facebook. Welcome to Red Dirt d and I'm Michael Cross, and I play Blackjack, a warlock of Sneaky Coyote. I'm Johnny Payne, and I play Twitch Grimfoot, a rat folk necromancer. I'm Brooke Bullock, and I play Zianzi, a spider can rogue. Hi, I'm Ash King, and I'm playing Sintra Redmaw, Paladin of the Bone Mother. And I'm Gary Hester, and I'm playing Billy, a possum fighter. And I'm Connor Chanel, and I play Jaska, the Yodi Ranger. And today, I am also your dungeon master. Welcome to Tales from the Ironwoods. I, I, don't, I don't have a tail. You had found the entrance to the burrow where the Snaggletooths had begun to create their own burrow. Upon finding that Ma is not there, you decide to head out to try and track down her location. Jessica will make a survival check. I will assist Jessica. Okay. With a 24 to pick up their trail, you head up north hoping to find where Ma and the three other people she had taken with her are. Billy is up on Sintra's shoulder, looking at his shoulder, pointing to Mudman and saying, Mudman! And then pointing to himself and saying, Billy! And then patting Sintra and saying, Sintra! <laughs> Trying to teach him those words. Mudman! Bugs! Intra! No! Billy! <laughs> Uggs. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nicely done. Don't be rude about how it pronounces things. And then he points down to Twitch. He says, Twitch. Itch. In so, primordial, it's Twitch. It's Twitch. <laughs> what I said. I don't like you. You're not king of mud misfits. Bugs is. Perception checks as we go along. Sure. Go ahead and roll me some perception checks. 11. I am very distracted. 23. Nice. Twelve. Okay. Zianzi's still in fi- spider form, so she's not as tall, and it's a one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Blackjack, Billy, even though you are having a deep, learned conversation with uh, Mudman, <laughs> the two of you are able to hear off in the distance a howl. Does it sound like a certain animal that, that I can tell? With a 23, it seems to be some kind of wolf. And a few minutes later, you start to hear the sounds of something heading your way. Definitely want to hide. I saw. Uh, yeah, I hide. Mudman, shush! Sintra! Danger approaches! I see the jackal open the spider kin just go off the path, and I just shrug, pull out the cudgel, square up my shoulders, and just wait. Billy pulls out his sword and says, Mudman, get your sword! To the mudman, I say, hey, you're probably about to die. Another me will take my place. Guard the king of mud befits. Perfect. It is an honorable sacrifice. I got a 22 on my stealth. Seancy. 22. Jessica will also attempt to hide in the trees. She's not so stealthy. (laughs) Oh, no. Is there any uh, piles of dead leaves or dead sticks around close by? It is fall. Sure. Okay. I have advantage for hiding in that. Sweet. 15. After a few seconds, once 
a few of you dive into the thicket of the trees to hide with Sintra still up front and personal. Did Fig hide too? Yes. Okay. Sintra, you begin to see three figures moving through the trees and you see upon a very large wolf is a elderly goblin rider and she spots you and slows her wolf down. Now, who might you be? Greetings unto you. I am Sintra, first daughter of Clan Redmaw. I am Billy King of Mudmen. These names are unfamiliar to me, but <laughs> what can I help you with? I've heard stories of you attacking allies of mine, the goblins of Clan Crooked Fang. Pat, and she spits on the ground as you mention their name. <laughs> ah, the weak ones. They've been fun to toy with. What, just because they choose a different life than you? They decided that they would like to lower themselves to those that are beneath them. I and mine will do no such thing. As I look at her, like, how does she look? First glance, you see a very aged face. Mm -hmm. Shock white hair, very elderly, but give me an insight. That's a seven. Some old and feeble, Elderly goblin lady. Doesn't seem like she'd pack much of a punch. I just kind of smirk and I say to her, I have been to see the strength of Clan Crooked Fang. Your clan, quite frankly, is nothing in comparison. Your warriors are small and skinny and honestly, even you don't look long for this world. Would you rather spend your last days in warmth and comfort or scraping by getting merely the scraps of others' bounty. Whether it belongs to others or not, eventually it'll all be ours. Especially everything that the Crooked Fangs have. I see no reason to lower ourselves like they have. And in the end, they will fall before the might of the Snaggletooths. Most unfortunate. For you see, I have been appointed as the protector of Clan Crooked Fang. And from where I stand, you don't look like much of a mouthful. Looks can be deceiving. I'm willing to play your little game. If a fight is what you want, I shall give you a fight. I don't want a fight, but if it comes to it, I will finish it. The choice is yours, Ma Snaggletooth. She thinks for a second, sits up a little more, although you see her shoulders are still hunched a little with age looks over to a familiar goblin, one you'd seen carry off a bag from the wagon of the Crooked Fangs earlier. And he glances over at Ma. I know your might, Ma. We can take them. She looks down to you. Now, who else is in your party? Surely you don't come just by yourself. Of course not! You want to fight Sintra, you fight me! You defeat me, you win honor of fighting Sintra! Same goes for me. You fight my bodyguard, Eb. Little, short, unintimidating possum. How far away am I from Ma? About 15 feet. And she does cast her gaze amongst the trees and sees not to see you. She spots Jaska. <laughs> Will you allow bursting out of hiding, moving five feet and casting as well without initiative? I'll allow it. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to cast Earth Tremor. You said there's three of them? Yes. And all three of them. So I need deck saves. <laughs> From them plus the wolves. Yeah. So I'll go with the wolves first. Okay. A 15. Okay. Ma. It's a 22. Eb. <laughs> he is knocked off of his wolf. Okay. The other one has a 15. So uh, Eb will take... Five points of bludgeoning. Was he on a mount? Yeah, the mount saved though. That's uh, about that. <laughs> okay. Get him! Roll initiative. Oh, here we go. Damn, it didn't go the way I thought it would. Sintra, what'd you get? Three. Billy. Seven, again. Blackjack. A nat 20 for a 25. I'm sorry, because of the stone of luck, it's 26. Twitch. Eight. What's your dex? Two. Uh, Zeon C. And Sintra, you made a old spider kin feel good because I got a four. You're welcome. <laughs> so I wasn't low. You're welcome. Part. First up is Blackjack. All right. 
They don't see me, right? So nope. I can go with advantage? Yes. And who are you attacking? Mob, but first I'm going to bonus action Hex. And that is a 19 to hit. That hits. Ah. Eight, force <laughs> damage to Necrotic. And that'll pass turn. And it is her turn. Ma gets hit with a attack from Blackjack. And she uses the momentum from that hit to expertly tumble off of her wolf. She's much more spry than you had originally assumed. And she will shroud herself in fire and use her action to charge towards Sintra, expertly weaving around you. What? While also still in your space to move past you to go to Blackjack. Each of you, I need a dexterity saving throw. Her moving past you does not does not provoke opportunity attack. Ooh, okay. I got a 16. Okay. 19. Sentra? 14. So you are not knocked prone, but you will each take five force damage. I take five force damage? Uh Uh-huh. Okay, I need a dexterity saving throw from Ma. Modified 20. Okay, that is a save, so you will take half of 3d10. 22, so half 11 points of fire damage. Notice she does not take this. And she, in her movement, works her way back to standing right next to her dire wolf, whose turn it is. The large wolf will move up to Sintra and try and take a bite with a modified 20. We'll hit. 14 piercing damage, and I need a strength saving throw. 19. You are not knocked prone. It is Jaska's turn, so she will center a fairy fire around the goblins because they're still all kind of grouped up together. Sweet. Making yes. sure not to hit you guys. So Moz, she just passed. And then her bodyguard, Ebb, he also saves. And the last goblin fails. And then the other two wolves that are back there they fail as well. So you have a weaker looking goblin that glows with a nice forest green and two wolves. The weaker looking goblin is going to hold out his weapon, but kind of see how this fight continues on. Billy, Eb is going to stand up from where he'd been knocked down earlier, take out his dagger, and try and throw it at you. Okay. It's a natural 20. I am going to parry. So when another creature damages you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction and one superiority die to reduce the damage. Roll damage, then I will reduce it. So 10 points of piercing damage. I reduce the damage by 1d8 plus 2. I rolled 10. Do you want to say 0 damage or do you want to say 1 damage? Does it specifically specify with that that it's hit 0? Okay, then 1 point. Okay. (laughs) Twitch, it's your turn. (laughs) Uh, I can do Earth Drum one more time. Let's do it. Give me another deck save. Ma rolled a 28 million last time. (laughs) Uh, She also got a 16. Ebb. Ooh, he got a 16 also. Oh. The other goblin that's just hanging back, he got a 14. We're good. Okay. My wolves as one thing. Modified 20. Oh. <laughs> um, ouch. Yeah, and then I'm going to zigzag away and hide. Roll me a stealth. 14. Billy. Okay, I am going to take out my magic sword uh-huh. from stone. And I'm going, Mudman, I teach you to fight now. (laughs) (laughs) He chatters. I'm going to try to hit Ebb. So that's a dirty 20. You will have to move up to him. The only thing that is close to you guys is the dire wolf. Oh, the dire wolf that got Sintra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make much more sense. Yeah, you can move it to the dire wolf. I will attack the dire wolf with a dirty 20. Only five damage. And then that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah, so you slash at this dire wolf, and it gives out a little yip of pain as you're able to hit it. (laughs) Mudman, we must protect Sintra. She has the first daughter. And Mudman will start doing circles around Sintra, thinking it will actually help. Can he give them help action? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Zianzi, you were also hidden. Is there a creature within 
10 feet of Zianci. They're about 15 feet out. Okay, so Zianci will, how far away is Mala? She's about 15 feet. Okay, so Zianci will scurry forward five feet and then we're in spider form. So the only thing I really have is to shoot a web. And with a 22. That hit. <gasps> Sweet. And so now Ma needs to make a couple of checks. The first one is restrain DC 15. A 14. Okay. So Ma is now restrained. And now Zianci then yanks on the thread, and we have a contested either dex or strength check. I do have a thing, because oh. she wrapped herself in fire. Right. How is your web against fire? It would probably apply to basic okay. web. Let me give her advantage yep. on yep. that. Yep, yep, yep. So she got a 16. Yep, Okay. so oh. that doesn't, doesn't restrain her, but I can still try to knock her prone. Okay. So a contested either dex or strength. I'm gonna use dex. She will also use dex. And I got an 18. She got a 17. I pull her prone. Okay. <laughs> Sintra. So I have this wolf that's in front of me, but I am hurting severely for hit points. Mm -hmm. So I am going to tap my chest and pour some lay on hands into myself as my action. I will do 10 points from my pool to heal myself for 10. And then for my bonus action, I will Cast bless. And I pick Billy, you're next to me. I will do Zianci and then myself. So that way we all have a D4 to our attack rolls and saving throws. And that will be my turn. Praise to the Bone Mother! Greetings and salutations, my friends. I'm Michael Cross. So great to have a moment to talk with you during this mid-show break. First off, I want to invite you all to join us as Patreon members. The money we raise helps us pay for things like music and sound effects you hear on the show, as well as money to go to events and make new fans. When you become a Patreon member, you get our episodes four days early, bonus content, access to our Discord server, and full versions of our roundtable discussions. You'll be joining other fans like Scott Wise, Don Mills, Heath Mormon, and the Lady Kate. So join us right now at patreon.com slash reddirtdnd. Another way to support us is by getting your very own Red Dirt merchandise. You can find things like hats, hoodies, mugs, and t-shirts. Just click on the merch tab at reddirtdnd.com or reddirtrpg.com. Since 2020, the Red Dirt D&D podcast has been close to another Oklahoma actual play Dungeons & Dragons podcast, D20 to Curtain. And me personally, I've had a chance to work on stage with some of the actors on the show. So when you get done with this episode, you should check them out. Hello, fellow D&Ders. My name is Jerome. I'm Jennifer. I'm Jody. And together with our friends Kara, Timothy, and Jared, we are the cast of the D20 to Curtain podcast, where Oklahoma theater geeks and their friends hit record and explore our new addiction to Dungeons & Dragons. We think D&D is more than just a game. It helps us tap into the enduring power of storytelling. We combine live gameplay with behind-the-curtain episodes to share our experiences, insights, habits, discoveries, and passion for D&D with anyone who will listen. We hope D20 to Curtain will make you laugh, cry, maybe even make your experience at your table even more satisfying. Check us out anywhere you listen to podcasts or visit us at d20tocurtain.com or at d 20 to Curtain on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We look forward to having you. All we ask is that you have fun, be kind, and play the role. If you're looking for more content, make sure to check out our YouTube page with Mysteries of Beatrix live every Wednesday, Keys from the Golden Vault from the Red Dirt Outlaws dropping every Tuesday at noon, and Plausible Deniability every other Thursday at 7 p.m. So come check it out at youtube.com slash at Red Dirt RPG or search for Red Dirt RPG on YouTube. And we would love to hear from you. Find us on social media at Red Dirt RPG. You can also get in touch with us through our website at reddirtrpg.com. 
In the meantime, make sure and subscribe to this podcast and leave a comment on your favorite podcatcher so others can find us. All right, I think that's everything I need to tell you. Right now, let's head back to Red Dirt D&D. Ma Snaggletooth does not seem to be interested in the non-violent diplomacy. She has attacked you, and we are deep into the battle. Blackjack, it is your turn. I see one of the weak goblins is glowing. Yes. So I'm going to attack with advantage on that one. Okay. Nat 20. 23 points of damage. He's looking really, really bad. That is my turn. So it is Ma's turn again. She will use half of her movement to stand. She does not get that thing back. However, she will see that Blackjack has hit one of her guards. So she will return and attack. A elemental strike comes at you. It's a 24 to hit. That'll hit. You will take five fire damage. And Zianci, you tried to trip her up earlier and mm-hmm. you succeeded in tripping her, but you also tried to grapple her. So she will also send another elemental strike your way. That is only gonna be a 10, so she misses. And her dire wolf got hit by Billy. Mm-hmm. So it's going to try and crunch the opossum. It's only a 12. I will repost. When a creature misses you with an attack, you can use your reaction and one superiority die to make a melee attack against it, and you're gonna add the superiority die to the damage roll if it is a hit. Oh yeah, that's gonna be 24. Yes. Yes. One D6 for the sword, plus my superiority die, which is a D8. Okay. Nine slashing damage. Once again, you swipe at this dog and it gives out a pained yelp. So it is Jessica's turn. She will ready her bow and take a shot at the dire wolf, trying to get it off of Sintra. That is going to be an exact hit. So it's going to take only four points of damage. The goblin that is hanging out in the back is going to come up to you, Blackjack, swipe at you with their short sword. It's at 18 to hit. It seems to be doing a little bit more damage than it normally would. 16 points of piercing damage. It's a very similar technique to what you've seen Zianzi do. Okay. They got sneak attack. How are you looking, Blackjack? Not good. Okay. Eb takes a look around, and we'll go over to you, Zianzi. Okay. Pulls out his scimitar and slashes at you. 19 to hit. Yes. Seven points of slashing damage. Okay. And his second attack. It's another 19 to hit. Nine points of slashing damage. Alrighty. How are you looking? At 11. Okay. And Twitch, it's your turn. The one that's glowing, Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop up, ready crossbow, and fire. Okay, you have advantage. 19. That will hit. Seven. You managed to kill this goblin. (laughs) And then I'm going to zigzag into another pile of brush and hide with a dirty 20. Okay, Billy, the dire wolf is still on Sintra, but it's looking pretty bad. With my sword, I will slash. Oh no. 12? Not quite. <laughs> I will action surge. I'll try again. Come on, Billy. Ha ha! Net 20. Ah. Good job. 15. And actually, I'm going to spend another superiority dice to try to trip him. And so I will add my D8, my superiority dice, to the damage. It's only one. So I guess 16 total damage. And then he's got to make a DC 12 strength saving throw or he's going to be knocked prune. Ooh, that's a fail. Yay! He fell down! (laughs) It's a very injured dire wolf. 
collapses onto the ground. And Zianci, it's your turn. All right. There is one goblin left. Eb is right in front of you. Then I will shoot a webbing at him with a modified 20. That hits. And so now he needs to see if he's restrained and possibly tripped. Is that a strength or a dex? Restrained is strength, DC 15. Modified 20. So he is not going to be restrained, but I'm going to yank on this web in and see if I can trip him with a contested either dex or strength. 17 versus 23. Ah, okay. Bonus action, Zianci's going to hide. Let me a stealth. A modified 10. And Sintra, it is your turn. Okay, a excellent. Very injured dire wolf at your feet. So I will, with the cudgel, try to bonk him. I'm going two handed, so. 17? That hits. It was a one on the die, but the fighting style that I adopted is the great weapon fighting, there so I can go. re-roll nice. ones or twos yep. if I'm using two hands. So with my modifier, that is going to be a seven points of bludgeoning damage. You bring your cudgel down and get rid of this dire wolf. Crack him right on the skull, and then I will look to Ma Snaggletooth threateningly. Jeez growls at you in anger. Blackjack. All right, we still have, have two wolves glowing. These two wolves have not really done anything. Ma and Eb are still left. How bad is Ma looking? Not that bad. First off, do I have any goblins or wolves around me? No. I am going to run 30 feet away. Blackjack, he abandoned us. <laughs> no, nope, because an Eldritch Blast comes firing out. Yeah. To hit Ma. It's a nine. Nope. Faster. And you ran your full? 30 feet. 30 feet, okay. Ma growls angrily at Sintra for killing her wolf. However, she spots Blackjack. As you start to run off, she points her finger at you. I don't think so. Give me a wisdom saving throw. 11. That is a fail. Oh no. Oh no. (laughs) You're going to take 15 fire damage. And you are stunned until the end of Ma's turn. Yeah, stunned and unconscious. So Jessica is going to fire an arrow at Ma. And she hits. So Ma will take six points of damage. And Eb, I'll just roll and see if he noticed Zianzi. Yeah, he's easy. So first attack is going to be a 14. That's it exactly. Okay. It's going to be four points of slashing damage. Okay. And then... Seven left. Second attack. Only 13. I had the miss. Twitch. One of your party members has gone down. I'm shooting from... I'm going to range attack from hiding. Okay. Advantage. Yeah. Ama. Does 11 hit? No. I'm still hiding then. You did make an attack, so give me another stealth. 21. Billy. Okay, madman, we fight the big one. And we'll go over to Ma Snaggletooth. And Can he give her the help action? <laughs> Right. Oh, wow. Mud Man doesn't do anything mechanically, I don't think. Sure. Oh, yes. Right. That's advantage. Sweet. <laughs> yes, Mud Man, you help. 17. That hits. <laughs> we rolled really bad on our damage, though. Only four damage. And that is my turn. And that was with your... Magic sword. Zianci. So, Zianci, this mastiff-sized spider kind of rears back on the hind legs and starts to stand up straight and the two middle sets of legs fold in around her body as she reforms into humanoid and her equipment all comes back out Mm -hmm. and such. And that is her one action. And then as a bonus action, she is going to attack with a dagger. Okay. With a 12 against Eb. Not against Eb. And then use an object. Okay. He wants to throw a flask of oil right into his chest. I guess I'll give him a reaction to try and dodge out of the way, potentially. Nope. 
And that's what I can do. Sintra. I am basically gonna go for broke. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run up to Ma and try to attack her. And so again, two-handing this big cudgel, it is a 19. That hits. And I am going to go ahead and use a spell slot to smite her for the regular weapon damage, and then nine points of radiant, and then eight points of bludgeoning. As I just smirk at her with that big hyena smile, not fearing death in any way, shape, or form. Blackjack, it's your turn. Death save. 15. That's the first one. And it's Ma's turn. She will form the fire around her into a simile of a blade and do one strike against you, Sintra. Okay. Um, disadvantage protection. I'll use my reaction here. Eleven. No. Okay. Yay. And her second attack. 18. We'll hit. Seven fire damage. Okay. Jessica will fire another arrow at Maul. She hits. And does nine points of damage. Maul's looking pretty bad. And then it is Eb's turn. He's doused in oil. Oil. Yes. Okay. He kind of looks down at the oil on his shirt, questioning, but he swipes at you with one of the sword attacks. It's a natural 20. <laughs> 10 slashing damage. And Zianci falls. Okay. And he will go over to Jaska. He also gets a natural 20 against Jaska. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. Twitch. Raise attack from hiding at Ma. Spell this time. 15 on that die for a total of 19. That hits. Yay! So give me, please, a con save. It's only a five. So 2d8 poison damage, and <gasps> she is poisoned until the end of my next turn. Yes. Oh, nice. Disadvantage so on her six. attack. Billy? Is Mudman going to help me try to hit her? Yes. 23. That hits. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to trip attack her as well. So she's going to do DC 12 strength saving throw. There's disadvantage because she's poisoned. Mm -hmm. 13 damage. That's my last superiority die. So you slash out as you try and trip her up and your blade sinks deep into her body and she falls over. Yes! Yay! I am my Tindle warrior! And Eb seeing Ma go down quickly tosses his blade aside and raises his arms. Yeah. <laughs> you still have two, like, two characters who are dying. Mm -hmm. Um, but Billy looks at Abby and says, You thought you could defeat me? I defeat you, you weakling. Billy's big day. Give me a death save, yes. Zianci. It's 15. So I'm going to rush over to Blackjack first, mm -hmm. and I will give him the last five of my land hands pool. Uh, thank you, Sintra. That was... What happened? We won. Uh, oh. And I immediately like stand up from you since you're okay, and I'm gonna walk, go over to Zianci, mm -hmm. basically getting ready to cast a cure wounds on him. Okay. Billy goes over to Zianci and just gives him a little slap, 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 slap. <laughs> Wake up! Billy, you keep an eye on the goblin. Oh, yes, of course! <laughs> so Eb seems to be not willing to maintain this fight any longer. So you guys drop out of initiative. Someone roll me a medicine check to help stabilize Zianci. Oh, I was gonna straight up do cure wounds. Okay, go ahead. Because I that. still have a spell slot left. Okay. So I'll cast cure wounds. And you'll get a D8 plus my spell casting modifier. You got max hit points. Sweet. Ten. The Bone Mother says we want the spider to live. Mudman, get my help! <laughs> we must tie his little goblin hands. Mudman grabs the other end of the rope and helps you tie him up. Give me a slide of hand. 19. Awesome. <laughs> Billy's good at knots. With Ma slain and her remaining guard, Eb, not willing to continue the fight, you tie him up 
you make your way back to the Snaggletooth's burrow. And we'll have to see what happens next time on Tales from the Ironwoods. Red Dirt D&D Tales from the Ironwoods is Connor Shinold as Jaska and our Dungeon Master, Brooke Bullock as Ziancy, Johnny Payne as Twitch, Kiri Hester as Billy, Ash King as Sintra, and I'm Michael Cross as Blackjack. Special thanks to our Silver Star patron, Paladin Shenanigans Unplugged. Our theme music was created by the cinemagician PJ Castillo. Our incidental music comes from Jeffrey McBride. Our sound effects and additional music courtesy of TabletopAudio.com, Sirenscape, and Monument Studios. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and at RedDirtDnd.com. If you enjoy the new campaign of Red Dirt D&D, make sure to subscribe, rate us, and leave a comment. Also, tell your friends about Red Dirt D&D. You can also support the show at patreon.com slash reddirtdnd at whatever giving level works best for you. Join us next time as we travel farther into the Ironwoods. So we have a knoll with a possum <laughs> with a mud method. We need to flee on top of the mud method. We have made this there, thing. There was a mud man and a possum on a knoll on the ground in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There was an old lady who swallowed a knoll. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. <laughs> swallow the knoll to catch the possum. Was... Little, short, unintimidating possum. I am your size! <laughs> You're not Uh-oh. so much bigger than me! <laughs> now you've done it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. They call me. Call the star boss off! I can never spell bludgeoning right on the first try. <laughs> it is hard. It's a hard one. Yeah. There's a, why is there an E? <laughs> it's spelled S T I C K damage. Bludgeoning. I think it's French. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> one of my favorite YouTubers just did a. He's talking about. Parasite, and of course one of the things he was talking about is like how the nobility were all using old French, you know, versus the commoners. Of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, that's why you take a cow and it becomes beef. beef. Yeah. <laughs> Blackjack. A nat 20 for a 25. Twitch. A nat 20 for a 25. <laughs> Part two. This time it's personal. Because of the stone of luck. Oh. It's now 26. 20 for it's 20 20 20. Good job. Your dad's going to get his butt kicked, Aiden. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love this stone. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love the fact but that I it's have a rose man. rock. That's really cool. Good job. Okay. Wow, so it's, it's you than me? Yeah. <laughs> God, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> we took out Pa. I think we can take out Ma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In my I head, because I so wanted Ma to be secretly be a necromancer and bring Pa back to life. <laughs> In my head, <laughs> we're about to face off against the necromancer. You're yeah, I, totally I can't. I gotta like, keep telling totally myself like no. That's not happening. Right. But who knows? Although similarly, when we met Pa Snaggletooth, if you'll remember, Poppy did cast Earth Tremor. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That's right. Yes, this is true. That's who knows what Connor will do though? Oh, shit. And we, you shook the train. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was awesome. She's much more spry than you had originally assumed. She pulls a Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. That was by two spell slots. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, no. Um, I believe in you guys. I'm going to stand so, back here with my big purple stick. <laughs> yeah, so you slash at this dire wolf, and it gives out a little yip of pain as you're able to hit it. That sad little dog whimper. <laughs> um, <laughs> Michael, don't you dare. She. <laughs> 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 Growls at you in anger. Not Snookums. It's not named Snookums. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere off in the distance, Seraphina. Snookums! Wait. <laughs> at least it wasn't more than 27. <laughs> yeah. I only had one hit point left, so if, if that had been 28 hit points of damage or more, that would have been an insta kill. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my lord. It almost was. <laughs> <laughs> I shortened that down because you guys had no chance. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he's easy. He <laughs> <laughs> just ducks down. He <laughs> holds two of his hands in front of his eyes. I can't see you. You can't see me.
Billy. Okay. Sindra, should I fight this one? And he points at Ma. Or that one? And he points at Eb. Because I feel like Ma could maybe not be great for me to hit with melee because she might set me on fire. <laughs> but I do true. have the most hit points, I think, right now. <laughs> Probably, I think you've barely been hit. I have 22 hit points. Oh, you have more hit points than I do. Yeah, yeah. All more than all of us combined, go, go I think. Mom. Go for mom. <laughs> go for, go mom. for broke. Okay, madman, we fight the big one. Okay, your roommate's gonna TPK us. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay, it'll be fun. It's a fun, fun campaign. It's fine. It'll be fun to bring back other stuff. That's yeah. right, that's it's right. Cool. Aiden's like sweating over there, like, well, it'll be fun. <laughs> Do I have to bring in someone? I don't know. <laughs> Will he, I just be a party of goblins? <laughs> he approved my monsters. <laughs> <laughs> did you, like did you check the balance on this encounter, <laughs> Well, I didn't realize it's going to add, like, five other people into the counter, too. <laughs> it's fine. Half of them didn't we do got, anything. We got, all right we got this. So we got this. Only the direwolf, Eb and Ma, have really been attacking. Yes, the other yes. goblins stayed behind until someone attacked him, uh, and the other two wolves have done nothing. Okay, it's a balanced fine. encounter. <laughs> You're doing uh -huh. a great game. Part of the book sure. is like, rules on dying and making a new character, and we'll get our money's worth. He also gets a natural 20 against Jaska. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Billy, save us all! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mudman! <laughs> we will avenge you! <laughs> I made this be Bill Billy's campaign, it's fine. So what's the plan? We just all wake up and back at the camp? It was all a dream. <laughs> Bobby's in the shower. Bobby, you Bobby's in the shower. <laughs> I'm okay. on, okay? I got one reference. It's from Dallas. <laughs> uh, Twitch. What? We wake up and Suzanne Blachette. Um, 